Welcome to USL Live in week two of season 24 in the Unified Skirmish League. I'm your host, Rami Lox, and the first matchup from the second week of league play tonight features the first meeting of the season between Cats and Suicide Squad. Both of these teams are currently standing at third place in the league with one win and one loss on the season, and tonight has big implications for playoffs. For more information on the teams, match statistics, and how you can sign up to play in the Unified Skirmish League, we ask that you please visit uslzone.com. Joining me in the commentary booth for tonight's match, I'm privileged to welcome in Eric. What's up? And Yosh. Ni hao. Uh, thank you for joining me, guys. Uh, Cats come into the season as the definitive number two squad in the USL preseason power rankings. Largely the same core group as the Warhawks team that captured the championship last season. I think we were all expecting the good times to keep on rolling for the strong lineup. But the absence of Kaga from the squad and the gift missing in week one left Warcats looking somewhat lethargic in their early season loss to New World Order. Meanwhile, Suicide Squad have exceeded those expectations, putting up a fight against Degeneration X last week that could have seen them emerge with the biggest upset of the week. A huge comeback victory against Crusaders helped keep their playoff dreams alive, but they're going to need to show that they're capable of knocking off a top-tier talent in Season 24. Panel, this map is widely considered to be the best map in the game for the players of Cats. Do you think that KS10 is the X factor here that puts Cats over the top? Or do you see Suicide Squad have a legitimate shot at winning tonight? Let's go to Eric first. Well, I think uh, the reemergence of Gift kind of solidifies this match, in my opinion, for Cats. Now, the question for me is, is Gift going to take over leading now that he's been here? Or now that he's logged in? Or is he going to leave it to Ernie still? Because apparently, according to Ernie, he's only really showing for this match. How much of that is true, I don't know. But if GIF leads, 100%, this is their map. They're going to take it. But if Ernie is stuck leading and kind of sacrificing his firepower to do so, Suicide Squad has a opportunity, as long as they keep it slow and keep regroups kind of consistent and condensed, they'll be solid. Yeah, I pretty much echo the same sentiment. A lot of it's going to hinge on, you know, how Suicide Squad wants to play this map. If they play it fast, I think Katz is going to run away with it. If they play it slow, keep it pretty close to the south area, they're going to do just... Let me get some, let me get some starting right. rosters in here real quick. We've got for Katz, we have Staley, Bonds, Fairfax, Hot Dog, Legacy, Pandy, Tactical, and The Gift, a.k.a. TG. For Suicide Squad, we have Apollo, Final, a.k.a. Jake, Flash, Fresh, Ghost Bomber, The Mountain, Thiz, and Victim. Uh, guys, give me some predictions. Where do you see us ending at the end of this match? Um, I think we see probably about 55-35 in favor of Cats, primarily because Thiz is not LMG. He's Marine. I would have given Thiz LMG and let Ghost Bomber play Marine or maybe even AT, which he was doing in some of the scrims I NT'd for them. I don't I don't think AT is the right class for Ghost Bobber. I think you need to kind of rein him in a little bit. And probably putting him on uh, LMG is the right call. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they need to really play around SL mid. And that if they do that, the score could be pretty low. I'm talking like 2025. Mm -hmm. But if they speed this game up, it's going to get out of hand. My uh, thing is, if... If Cats wins the first battle of Queen, they're going to take it to their base to avoid allowing SV and Apollo to kind of set up slow. You know what I mean? So if they can win this first battle of Queen, that's why I think that score kind of gets out of hand. Absolutely. They get some momentum going, and then it's really hard to stop Cats, especially on KS10. Um, we got some contact here on U on SL Mid, south of SL Mid. Uh, war uh, I'm sorry, Cats sending a team to the north as well. Trying to pin him in here. Look at Thiz and Final hiding on that wall. They're going to catch Bonds from behind. Oh, but he's oh, going to survive. Apollo needs to Good go down. Law. Oh, Bonds does go down a little bit later Ernie than might. we thought. Ernie takes a law. Hot Dog this is, is trying to heal everybody. This is exactly what Cass needed to do. They have Pandy and Aerith dead here. Or should. You mean uh, oh, what wow. SS needed to do? Absolutely. Yeah. This is a great start for SS. But they just don't capitalize. They don't get the kills they wanted to out of that. But they may yet. Ooh. Mountain is lucky. Facts missed that law on that physic. They need to focus out Hot Dog. Hot Dog's low. 
Bandy yeah. goes down. I need to kill a hot dog here. Yep, he is going down. The rest of them are going to get out underneath and to the right. It looks like Ghost Bomber pursuing Staley and Fairfax. Actually, Staley and Fairfax may go down here. They do have their medic no, back. No, they Bonds should be fine. Here. I don't... Ooh. Bonds Staley a takes huge a huge stream, though. Too. Yeah, so Staley did, too. I think Staley's one hit. Fairfax trying to cover for him as they retreat. Jake takes down TG on the south there. They still got a fight. Oh, tactical goes down. They might be able to push and kill Legacy, or is he going to call for the fall? Yeah, Cat's kind of trickling here. Oh, no, no, no. They they can clean this up. SV's team on the north needs to come down and pinch uh, Legacy, Legacy and Aerith. Yeah. Legacy's just going to go down here. Do you, man, I know SS has been practicing a lot more than Cat's, but SS is looking really good here in the beginning of the game, looking fresh. With and this is in. without Shasta. It's a yeah, good no point. Shasta. Party time Shasta's back. <laughs> <laughs> Six and oh. I I stand corrected. I was saying Katz was gonna win the battle queen. Suicide Squad won the battle queen. But it's only six to nothing. That's yeah, not yeah, the worst. Oh yeah. uh, I mean, as bad as this game has started, this could have easily gotten out of hand. But only How losing six, pretty good. However, now because they have the 6-0, and now they can set up the way they want to play and keep it slow and make cats push into them. So we got to see if SV uh, keeps, an, keeps an eye on all the angles that they're going to try and take. But this isn't an unfamiliar place for the guy of cats. The guys of cats, formerly Warhawks. Uh, they started uh, kind of from behind the eight ball a few times last season. Uh, we're really good about you and come back. So let's see if they can get their composure. Um but then that Catalyst Kaga is not on their roster anymore. So where are the kills coming from? I imagine Legacy and, and Flash might die here. Flash, Flash is going to take. Yep. They got caught in a rotation above South mid or SL yep. mid. Now they just got to run. Run for the hills. Flash, you should have used the barrels for cover. They pick up their first kill. It's Six fine, though, one. because they're right they're right by SS's base, essentially, at this SL mid location. Here comes the North team victim oh, and company dead. moving in. Staley is in real trouble here. Yep, Staley goes Good down. Ball. Fairfax is going to hold that door as the rest of Cats get south, but they're down a man. Yeah, right now, Katz has the advantage position-wise. Unless Mountain shifts some dudes down, which is what he's doing now, he needs to get somebody over underneath that building. Yep. Yeah. Be a good roll for Flash right now to do a far left side flank. Instead, he's just calling for the convergence on this Whoa. East team, which is a smart call. They need to take out Fax, Tactical, and Bonds quick. Oh, no, he decided not to. They really should have. Because now they're going to possibly get themselves pinched. Yeah, you got you got fresh work at overtime right now, trying to keep these marines up. Not they a lot need of, to get to this right side of this rock. Not a lot of Jake team shooting from angle. either team right now. I don't see. Uh, there we go. TG and Pandy putting it putting the hurt on Flash there a little bit. Staley comes back on the north, swinging this numbers for th four versus three up top. Ghost bombers getting streamed. Oh, Pandy's mountain almost goes down. Mountain. Oh, they they lose the medic up top. Bonds goes down. Oh no. Because this South team has been handling a 5v4 for a while. Ernie goes down. They just need to ignore this, uh, South this team. top team now and help help your South team out. South team just won a 5 on 4, by the way. That's where almost takes down Legacy there. Ooh, Jake takes a direct hit. He's got to be pretty low. One more bullet, I imagine, does it for him. Yep. Yep. And victim down, ghost bomber down. Here's that switch we see as Cat surge back into this game. It scored nine to seven. Now Suicide Squad still with a two kill lead with 22 minutes remaining in this match. What I would have liked to see after they got those two kills, instead of sitting there trying to fight it out over the top, swing and help your South team out. Because as you said, they were losing a 5v4, mm -hmm. which shouldn't be happening, but you get those extra three people and you converge on that. And said they took too long. Yeah, kind of does make you wonder how the North team for Cats did not win that fight. Um, I wasn't uh, Staley that had part. a late. 
Staley had a late respawn because he died to oh, SP, okay. I think, in SL mid. So he got there just as I think Bonds died. I think last week they were really missing Gift. He's coming in, show it out. He's such a steady presence, and he's just a very consistent Marine. He's always going to put up a lot of hits. Uh, he one may not might get say the he's the best support. Yeah, one might say that. All right, cat spread out pretty far here. All what the way I don't down like the left about side. This, mm -hmm. I don't like this position from uh, SV because he's got his team widely spread around. His one team is just above weed, and the other team is wrapping around the oh, east man. side of SL mid. Flash, kind of I think he sees blank, him. It might work. Did Flash see them? Yeah, he did. Okay, so they've got a five, 5v3 here on the left. Let's see if this Cats team can get out. Oh, my question is why you have your other team pinching the other team. Why are you turning on this team and not converging on the other? Maybe he's thinking I can kill these three up yeah, here. Yeah, easy quick, kills quick and then, and then turn. Yeah. Yeah. Which they kind of did. They did. But now their other team lost. So I, I don't know. I think you stick to what you originally wanted to do and just pinch the other team before the other team comes down on you because you had the angle. Legacy fighting three by himself here and doing it effectively. <laughs> That's that LMG, dude. Nerf it. Oh, man. He yeah. goes down finally. LMG, pretty good class this season. <laughs> I mean, it's been a top class since what season eighteen when we changed it. Yeah, it just it just took people a while to catch on to it. Yeah, I certainly think you got to You got to be running it. Yeah, it's it's definitely a must have in your lineup, especially on like the hands of a mouser. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Eric Aerith playing demo here? I think it's a troll, but that's Staley to begin with, right? I love Staley, but it's definitely a troll move. I thought he was a really effective Ripper, and I think that Ripper right now could work pretty well on this map. We saw, uh, what, Soul play it against you guys last season. Um, mm -hmm. I think if he could do anything even similar to that, where he splits up the battlefield in kind of a north and south or makes it where they can't push into him, I think that'd be a lot better than what he's doing right now for as Demo. I think that if you see them go up and he dies, I think you see him switch to Ripper. Just because the whole stigma of being not being able to really push as a Ripper is still very much true. I think that once they have to make Suicide Squad come to them, he'll switch. Suicide Squad traveling as an entire group over SL mid. Looks like they're going to go above USL mid too. Pandy so far having oh, no, a pretty good game. USL, they're pushing Gift pretty hard. Gift trying to make it out. Oof. They need to kill him quick. Yeah. Yes, I do. He does. Gift does make it around the bin, but Fax. Oh, oh. Fax is not coming in. He's just going to let Gift try to make yeah. it out south. He might even make it out. Are you kidding me? Gift the yeah. god. It only seemed. There were what? Three, yeah, three classes to shoot at him. It was only really Mountain and GB shooting at him. From what I saw. Gotta focus that. Yeah, 13 and 9. It might come down to individual kills at the end of this. If you're SV, though, this is kind of what you wanted, mm -hmm. right? The game is slow, kind of near your base. Cats? This is the game plan. Cats are kind of on their heels after that first Suicide Squad push. I think they're giving them a lot of respect, more than I think they normally would have. I'll be curious to see if they start, uh, if they can get some kills here quick, Legacy can lead that charge. I think they'll ease back into the normal If Cats they get position. the south angle, they, they, can, they can definitely take out Legacy, at least. Legacy's caught out by himself. I know Apollo's underneath weed. A little, yeah. a little slow to that, but... Flash wants to go in, Apollo. which is the right call because Apollo's there. Uh, Apollo should go underneath. Yeah. Yeah, you need Why? to go underneath, bud. Tactical Flash calls it. it. Says get Flash out. Is that here? Oh, how oh. is Flash alive? Hand, he's coming in. And he's dead though. Oh. Flash and Fresh somehow lift. Legacy catches a nade. Good oh my toss word. By Jake. 
Gift going down. Wow. So Suicide Squad a little slow to get the positions, but in the end of the day, they are getting them, and they're going to turn and win this whole fight. I wow. mean, what looked like a terrible setup or start for Suicide Squad just turns into a complete annihilation of cats. Uh, score update 20 to 9 with 16 minutes and 53 seconds remaining in this game. So another a full second half of this game to go. Uh, but cats very much struggling right now to keep pace with Suicide Squad, who's done a good job of just keeping their positions, uh, you know, making smart pushes. Nobody's out of nobody's, you know, um, out of sorts or, or far ahead of the team. Even, you know, Ghost Bomber, Thiz, they all seem to be in line. Now, Ghost Bomber and Thiz, yeah, go ahead. Interesting little play they got going on here at G7. All of uh, Suicide Squad's huddled on a rock. <laughs> I think, uh, is that Apollo and Final? I think they're too far on the south of it, though. So if they come around that south, oh, they're going to get their the chance. East. This is going to be it. Oh wow! Yeah. I see them. <laughs> yeah, oh. I, like I said, they were uh, they were too much on that south side. Ghost bomber's going down here. Oh, get the slow is, though. Oh, ghost bomber goes oh. down. And Staley go. TG Fizz and Staley and go down. Staley? They have the numbers. Oh no! Pandy's low. Oh, he gets a heal there. I think if you're Apollo and victim, you can't push this. Just no, and chill. Apollo some, for some reason wants to. Yeah, you just got to chill. Fall back and chill a little bit. Push them into the back, the, into the angles. Facts oh, holding Mountain goes down from the flank. Flash is going to go down, too, because he's in the center. Legacy just getting really good hits. Tactical moves in. Let his guys take that south Get position. The left. Get the left. Get yeah, the fucking uh, left. Jake gave up the left. And that's pretty bad. Now they're all going to die here. Ugh. Oh, clean battle from cats here. Yeah, just first positioning, two. superior positioning. They even lost more men in the beginning of the battle. Yeah, you can't give up the left on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to. Or you or at least you can't let them do it without some resistance. You just let them have it completely and totally unopposed. Yeah, Jake fell back super early on that. We got another switch, 22 to 17. Cats now down five. It's a game. It is. By the way, who is Hot Dog? That's uh, Slob. Okay. Staley switched to Marine. Let's get a breakdown real quick. Right, we got a pause. We have Legacy leading the charge again tonight with seven and three in this opening game of week two. Uh, we have Thiz, Gift, Mountain, and Jake, all with four kills. Says two deaths. Well, not sure for some of those people. Um, Fresh is leading the heels with 23-31. Victim and Hot Dog behind him. Yeah, I mean, overall, solid game so far. Yeah. This is surprisingly a, foreign, too. I mean, just a position error from Suicide Squad there. You just need to hold the left there, and you win that fight. Mm-hmm. That's why uh, somebody else brought it to my attention. Uh, Grump, by the way, uh, SV sh shouldn't be the person to uh, hold off the solo. He needs to be there to micromanage them. Yeah. yeah. In those in those type of situations. He does a good job of calling the focus fire too, and I think when you take him off of main, you take away that ability, and so their shots become a lot more scattered. Uh, 13 minutes remaining, still a five kill game. This next battle is really important for both sides. Yeah, see, Mountain's doing the, the right play and trying to get this south angle here. Where's the guy send... under weed? Yep, there he is. Yeah, they, they just need to send one underneath weed and this is good to go. And hopefully he doesn't go above the rock like Apollo did and he goes underneath it. <clears throat> Who'd they send on the solo underneath? That's Flash, which is fine. As long as he doesn't get pieced up by Legacy and Hot Dog here. What a great name. Gotta love the Hot Dog. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Brings a lot of flavor to the season 24. <laughs> I don't really like SV's position here. He needs to kind of spread out his people just a little bit here. Oh, I mean, does bomber die? I don't know. Mid. I saw mid to TG. So now TG's going to have that north. They need to make a decision here. Yeah, now Either this fall is... fall back left or... This is about to go all the way bad. They just gave up a lot of position here. Yeah. Apollo's doing the right thing by getting this north angle, but... Fax has got the north angle with Gift coming in on the far left. Mountain Pandy gets a kill on the south. I guess he taken down final. Now cats just have to do it fast enough so they don't have respawn coming on. Yep, it's over. And we have a lead change, 25 to 22 with 11 minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Suicide Squad, who looked so good in the beginning, are struggling right now to keep pace with cats. And I think it's mostly about positioning, guys. Would you? I mean, I think that's the the way, the way they're winning these battles. I don't see really anything else. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's who you choose to solo to. Like, Ghost Bomber going down to Gift is obviously not ideal. Mm -hmm. You can't have that happen. If you're going to solo, you need to kind of realize your your job is to get vision, not so much to duel the other guy. Who do you and send? I'd, I'd probably pick Jake. I'd probably pick Jake if I had to pick one out of that, or Apollo. Who do you pick out of that roster to send solo? Probably Apollo. Yeah, He's definitely, a, definitely Apollo. Yeah, and he's doing a good job of focus fire. Now, maybe that's why Mountain doesn't want to send him, but you got to have somebody you can trust over there who's going to talk. We've got Suicide Squad in the middle right now, kind of hanging in that lane. And on the far right side. SV balling up in the mid here. Where's this other team? SV and his crew, or victim and his crew are underneath mid. Oh, okay. I see it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if you're, if you're SV, what are you doing here, Eric? You've all We're, we're, kill, Staley, we're killing Staley here. That's what we're doing. Oh. Oh, Staley pops off the wall. Oh, they're. Are they gonna. Oh, oh no. no. That's GB. You either commit or you just fall. SB sleeping, as Ursov says. <laughs> Ghost Bomber down again, though. That's not what yeah. you want. Especially oh, your LSD. Apollo down gets cut off. And the South team is about to get wrecked. Victim and, job. Victim and Thiz are running to see what they, if they can make it out. It looks like Suicide Squad kind of lost a little bit of their momentum. Yeah, I mean, after... After they lost that South fight, where Jake gave up that South angle, it's been all cats from there. Yeah. Legacy moves forward to nine and three on the game. Pandy eight and two. Gift six and three. They need to drop back. They need to stop uh, coming out staggered like this because now you're just going to feed cats more kills. Need to and regroup. Cats. Can they oh, stabilize I on the left side of the SL mid here? Oh, that law maybe not going to allow it to happen. That one. Oh, my word. Close. Both, both of those on track. Flash goes down. Tough to stabilize when you keep losing people. Then again, you're at their at your base. Oh, Oof, mountain. S S SV just strafes into every single bullet. A little bit of tilt might be coming on right now. Is it gonna get away from them? Where is Splitter? <laughs> Split needs to speak up as it's been called out. <laughs> they're they're really missing Chas here. Like Yeah, he's a steady he's a steady Marine as well. Somebody definitely you want in the trenches for this squad.
I'm not sure who I'd sub out. Probably Ghost Bomber right now. And I don't. Yeah, he's, he's just too far. He's just a step or two too far ahead, and a step or two right now is death. Well, yeah, this playing LMG and Pub, but he was doing really well with it. I think, like Eric was saying earlier, maybe maybe he needs to play LMG. I think Thiz is about to kill off of the top three right now, too. He's getting it done right now for Suicide Squad on a team that's kind of struggling. 33 to 23. 10 kill game now with 641. It's looking like cats are going to take uh, this, this big win here in the first uh, meeting in between these two squads. Yeah, now... Now Suicide Squad is out of their element. They're having to push cats towards their base. Now Thiz goes down. Is it time for that dude to come in? No. Can he save them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Flash goes down to TG. <laughs> <laughs> Cats just keeping the pressure on, pursuing them doggedly here. Oh, Pandy goes down. But they take Fresh down with them, so they lose a med. How long is Cats going to hang out with Respawn on the way for Suicide Squad? I agree with what you said, Yosh. I think I can feel some tilt on the other side. Some frustrated yeah. movement right now. Yeah, they look a little lost and dizzy. 37-24. I mean, still still catchable. But yeah. really got to rein it in. I mean, is it time to just ball up and push? I think <laughs> I think cats are doing a good job of kind of anticipating that stuff. They're kind of staying together or really close together as a group as well. Some insider info. SV is turning into the Hulk. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> also, a couple people in this game are not squad joined. Guys, please be squad joined. Makes it easy oh. on Chris. That was weird. You're going to take some manual I, stats. Yeah. Anybody else watch Bonds appear and disappear? I did on not. Screen? Watch him right now, but... Yeah, Cat's just uh, just happy for the rest of the game to let uh, Suicide Squad do the pursuing. Yeah. I mean, as they should. They've been pursuing mm -hmm. all game. Suicide Squad all game. So, I yep. mean, like I said, if, if Staley dies here, well, do you let him go Ripper or do you keep him as Marine? Because since he switched to Marine, they took the lead, right? I mean, he's proven to be the best marine on cats he came in boom instantly started winning <laughs> good focus fire from this and apollo there but they they need to fight with a little bit of urgency i get i get that there's three and a half minutes but you got to start making some moves yeah this north team i think oh flash goes down as fresh is trying to get to him to save him fresh now that takes too wide of a loop move. fresh is going down as well not jake, the move jake also caught out now he's gonna go in suicide rush goes down ernie goes down the sv they need the oh apollo gift on the down. flank from underneath gets apollo with a law big he law streams, he streams mountain too legacy 13 and 3 gift 10 and 3 who's your mvp right now guys i'm there's a, I mean, between Pandy, Gift, and Legacy, they've all done very well today. Haley for switching from Demo to Marine. <laughs> we'll see if that's who they nominate. <laughs> I think Legacy got one uh, a couple week, a week last week, I think. So one of the two games. So I think I'd probably toss it to Gift, particularly as his comeback has signaled a pretty big surge. You know, I think Cats are a different roster with him in. Yeah. Poor Yami, we, he hasn't been seen since, you know. He's since, banished uh, to the the netherworld. The shadow realm. <laughs> the <Yeah>. shadow realm. 
Speaking of Shadow Realm, you looking to pick him up? Is that what's going on? You? <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, he, he's he he only got sights for Chompy. Yeah. <laughs> Le leave him alone. <laughs> leave Brittany alone. <laughs> Look, the pressure is too much for poor Chompy. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty kills up, only a minute and a half to go. This is looking to be over. Yeah, the momentum just hard swung once they lost that south fight. Tracks a million yep. says it was a good try from SS, and I agree, it was a pretty good effort. Um, not, uh, I thought we would have a, a, a longer period of good effort. I felt like at the you know the thirteen minute mark or so, it was just over. Yeah, I, I think. Not only that South battle, but I still stick by it. Like, if SV actually pinched with his team going around mid there, that South team doesn't lose that fight. They're closer to pinching their team, Katz's team, than Katz was to pinching them, you know what I mean? Then you turn. But Pandy now gets just picked off. Kills. 55 seconds remaining, 46 to 27. A 20 kill victory by Katz is not what I think we anticipated, but at the same time, this is a good team. This is a good Katz team, and they're showing it tonight. I'll be interested in what the second meeting of these two squads looks like, because I think Suicide Squad does need a little bit more time to figure out their best roster. I mean, you're missing Shas. That's pretty big yeah. for that. This isn't the most... The, the deepest team when it comes to marine talent so mm -hmm. they really have to have everybody show up oh double nade there big double nade by Fairfax overall good game them. good game for the first 15 and then it was cats from there absolutely final score 53 to 29. And cats take it home. They uh, was robbed. Legacy is wow. your MVP. Had a really good game. Had a really good game. Was good all along. He finished 16 and 3. I don't know if one of you guys want to reach out and see if we can we can grab Staley there. Um <laughs> I don't think Staley will come interview. I think he needs to. <laughs> I, I think it would be hilarious if he did. Hold on. <laughs> I just want to tell him he was robbed. <laughs> or gift or legacy would be good to talk to. I asked Ernie. He'll probably send somebody. Uh, Staley said he's got a ref, so. Yeah. Understood. Not acceptable. It was a really good game, though. Really good game for Cats. Um, I thought this 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 will put to bed some of the concerns that we had from week one as to whether or not they were going to be um, as strong as we kind of predicted this roster. We knew there was going to be a little bit of a decline from Warhawks, but uh, last week there was a little bit of a concern. Um, this puts to, to bed some of those concerns for me anyway. We've got, uh, we've got TG in here if you want to set him up. Absolutely. Gift, how are you, sir? I'm all right. How are you guys? Doing very well. 53 to 29. Cats take the victory. Uh, one notable absence from week one was yourself. Uh, where were you? And what, what happened tonight that you decided not to abandon your squad again? Uh, after last season, dominating the entire season and winning championship, I decided I was going to take a season off. And then I actually was on vacation. So that's the only reason I'm showing tonight. Okay. Okay. So you just, you just came through to just show the league what, what we're missing with a giftless season. Yeah. I don't, this season looks like it could be competitive with these cats lost week one, I guess. I don't know how I haven't watched it, but. It was I don't fucking lose, so it's like, what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> the best Where are you vacationing? <laughs> Actually, I went to the uh, Niners Vikings game last week, so that was kind of a shitty one for me. But yeah, <laughs> sad day for Gift and Company. Um, I mean, you guys played really well today. Uh, that first, that right out of the gate, Suicide Squad really gave you guys a pounding. Finished, I think, six and zero. Oh, you end up getting a, a kill. You know, kind of 
a couple minutes later to put it six and one, but it stayed at six and one for the first few seconds. Were you concerned at all the way they came out of the gate? Was that, you know, to put you on your back heels? Yeah, apparently they had five north in the first battle or something they were worried about. I mm-hmm. don't know. I stuck, I pretty much did whatever the hell I wanted to do and then it worked out. So, yeah. So then was it, was it you or Ernie that led? Because I know Ernie is kind of taking the leading role in your absence, obviously. Uh, but with you coming back, did you take over the reins or did you allow him to keep leading? So because it's his squad, I didn't want to like just take over. So I took a major backseat. I felt like I was super vocal, maybe a little too vocal, but Ernie did most of it. So if he led fine. Well, you came back and you went right back into form. I mean, you had a, a pretty good night finishing 11 and 5. Congratulations to you individually. Uh, between you, uh, Legacy, and Pandy, you put up, what, 27, 30, 36 kills? Uh, it's a really solid performance from the three of you. Um, you know, this team, without you, could struggle in the Marine Department. You, you think you're going to be making any more games this season? Uh, doubtful, I think. Okay. I don't know, though. TBH, to, to be determined, too. We'll see. Well, well, we hope. Um, go ahead, Yosh. Hope to see more, but we the this team is uh they looked a little bit lost without you last week. Gift, I think they really need you. I I definitely think there's a difference of when you're on the field versus not, particularly tonight. I think there's some steadiness that you show with your shots. Um, but you know, Legacy had a great game. Any final comments about the way you guys performed tonight, or anything about SS? Uh, like a, I haven't been active, so I don't know anything about the squads. But I don't know. It was I. I, they actually fought us a little more than I thought they would. Judging by the roster, I thought they would camp a lot more. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Yeah, I guess we just Rio had a great game. We just out, out firepowered him. That's how it was. Yeah, absolutely. Out position him. Well, good game to you guys. Uh, Cats take it fifty three to twenty nine. Gift. Thank you for joining us, sir. Yeah. Good luck for the rest of the season, boys. Any uh, final comments, Yosh or Eric? No. Okay. No. Uh, uh, well, go Bills. That'll conclude our broadcast of Cats versus Suicide Squad from week two of season 24 in the Unified Skirmish League. We want to invite you to join the fight by downloading the game on Steam. Just search Free Infantry or visit FreeInfantry.com. To find out more about USL, please visit USL.com. Thanks to my co-hosts. Again, that was Eric and Yosh tonight. Thank you to our executive producer. That's Military Police. This has been Romulox, and you've been watching the Unified Skirmish League on USL Live.